We've got a Mac operating system, old El Capitan up there. And down there is a custom built uh, PC. Uh, so I got myself a Hackintosh. Uh, this was um, a long, arduous uh, task, uh, basically because I had uh, two things in mind. One thing I wanted to build a badass system, which I did. Uh, the other thing too is I wanted to do a video that was uh, easy for everybody to understand. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go with the creation of the USB. You should already have UniBeast installed along with El Capitan uh, latest version. This is 11.11.4 uh, uh, or 10.11.4. Uh, then also the attachments are provided. So um, go ahead and open Disk Utility. Uh, for some that don't know, it's in the other folder. So it would be in this folder right here. So other folder, but you can open Disk Utility. You're gonna go to this. Now um, a lot of tutorials show you to go to partition, but with um, El Capitan, since I'm running that, it doesn't give the option to see how this is all funky looking instead of choosing one partition or whatever so um, it's not like the Yosemite uh, disk utility they upgraded this I actually don't like it but so just follow what I'm doing so we're gonna hit erase remember it be selected on this not this select this hit erase name it USB in all caps it's gonna be GUID partition map and uh, OS 10 extended journal hit erase Okay, once that's done, uh, you see this, it says USB, so we go ahead and go with the Unibis creation. We're gonna hit next, or continue, 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 agree. Okay, we wanna install it right now on the 16 gig. Now you want a 16 gig hard, uh, uh, flash drive because uh, I used an eight gig one time and it wasn't enough for some reason, I don't know why. So 16 gig will do you good. So El Capitan, that's what we got. Uh, U, uh, UEFI boot mode, that's what we want. Um, we're going to inject NVIDIA, um, and this is just temporary. And then once we get the NVIDIA web drivers, we'll go ahead and uh, alter the config file so that it boots with the saying, hey, use the drivers that we've downloaded from the internet instead of uh, injecting just a, uh, a fi this basically is a blanket NVIDIA graphic. So it's just going to give you one resolution. It just gets you so you don't get a black screen, just so you can get to your desktop and do your things. Um, so that's what we're going to pick. Okay, this is everything we want. And we hit continue. Type in the password. Oh, I'm on caps lock. And it's going to do its thing. Okay, after Unibeast is done running, go ahead and quit. And then bring up your USB. Okay, and drag Hagintosh in there. Which will be the attachment. Okay, so after the uh, Unibeast is ran and it's done, uh, what's going to happen is this EFI partition should be there. Say if it's not, uh, you'd open uh, Clover Configurator, uh, hit mount EFI per partition, and then choose the right one and uh, again you should see this there you double click it and then you're going to go ahead and double click that and in the clover folder you're going to uh, get into it and hit command a you're going to delete it and then you're going to go into the unibeast clover uh, provided in the attachments and then you're going to drag all of that into there that's it Okay, now we're ready to rock with the installation. So we're going to go ahead and head over to BIOS setup so you can see how the BIOS has to be set up before you can run the install. All right, so we're going to boot up our uh, computer. My hotkey is delete uh, to go to the BIOS settings. Uh, these have to be. Come on. These have to be set just right in order for you to boot Mac. So, okay, first thing we're going to do is hit uh, F7 on the, and I hope you can see this real good. Let's see if I can just bring it up here. All right. So, we're going to hit F7 on the keypad, 
So F7, that's optimized defaults. Okay, it says load optimized defaults. Okay, yes I do, okay. Good to go. Uh, second thing we're going to do is uh, super IO serial. We're gonna disable that. Where is it at? Okay, and this is a super IO configuration right there. We're gonna go ahead and disable. So enter and see how it says enabled. We're going to disable. Disable. Okay, next one, we're going to uh, XHCI handoff. We're going to enable that. Okay, well, while I'm here, um, the uh, IOA PIC entries, whatever that is, um, we're going to go ahead and go down to that and disable that. So it was there. So anyway, so disable that. And again, all this will be in the description. So uh, you'll be able to, uh, there it is. XHCI handoff right there you're going to enable that enable okay and that is it um, we can now reboot and proceed with the install okay I couldn't get the disk utility within the Hackintosh boot to format the drive so hopefully you have a way to plug um, the hard drive you're going to be using up to a Mac so you can open disk utility and format it that way as I'll show you so what you do is I plugged in my hard drive uh, via uh, an adapter I have and I clicked on it uh, and you want to click on this one uh, not this one you want to click this and you want to click erase uh, now in Yosemite it has a better disk utility where you actually go and click how many partitions that's why I had you clicked on where it says pluggable USB 3 here because that's actually just going to create one partition um, so I'm going to ahead and name it Mac and you want to make sure it's in GUID partition map and OS 10 external journal um, and then erase and you'll be good to go to attach it to your computer and proceed with the Hackintosh installation. Get my boot menu up. Okay, so now I want to boot from my flash drive. Okay, so here we go. Boot from my flash drive. Now I'm going to go over some options real quick. So go to options. Two things to remember. So graphic in injector, uh, graphics injector menu. Um, we're going to go ahead and inject N NVIDIA. Uh, and what this is going to do is give us a default resolution just so we get past um, the setup screen and get to just, uh, it'll be really ugly, it'll be flashing and stuff like that, but it's at least it's something that you can look at so you can do what you gotta do, which is uh, download the NVIDIA web drivers and enable them. Uh, we also have our boot arguments here. Don't worry about these as much as worry about this. The NV underscore disable equals one, meets, which means uh, not to use NVIDIA web drivers, uh, to use that graphics uh, injection that is going in because uh, if you were to not have that, it would go to a black screen, and um, this is actually going to change. It's going to change, and I'll show you what it'll change to. It'll be NVDA underscore DRV equals one, which means we already have the web drivers installed. They work. Now go ahead and use my GTX 980 Ti or whatever you got. So um, these are the boot arguments uh, you want. Again, as you can see, they're separated by spaces, and then we had the NVIDIA graphics being injected. So we'll go ahead and return and boot. So boot Mac OS 10 from USB. It's gonna do its thing, all kinds of funky stuff. And then it will get you to an installer. So here we go, we're at our installer. All right, let's go ahead and now my drive's already formatted because I had the uh, adapter that plugged into it. So I'm going to agree and then here it is and I'm going to install it on that. And there we go. I highly recommend and I'll show you to do common backups all the time, time machine backups and 
uh, config backups of your config file. And also so it has finished the installation. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to my options again. Make sure I got nv underscore disabled equals one. Graphics injector. Going to inject NVIDIA. If you wonder why this inject NVIDIA isn't checked, I don't like it checked because I'll have to go back in and undo it. So, because in the final, during the final touches and all that stuff, that's actually permanently going to be disabled because we'll be using our web, drive, web drivers. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and boot up from the Mac hard drive. So, here we go. Alright, so anybody who has a brand new Mac knows that this is the welcome screen and shoot, looks like you just bought a new Mac. Alright, well that was my video. I hope you liked it. Um, um, what you can do for me after all this um, is like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff and uh, also in the comments, uh, let me know what you want to see in the future. Tell me uh, if there's a video you would like me to make. Um, if there's an app review you would like me to do and uh, just, just let me know. So uh, I appreciate everybody for watching. Uh, I'm really excited about my Hackintosh. Hopefully you're going to get one soon and be excited about it as well.